Hi everyone, this is Michael from DYW. I hope that you are doing great. Today I'm going to talk about a very sensitive topic, the content protection, your website content protection. Basically, this is your intellectual property. I mean your innovation, uh, your creativity, uh, your writing skills, if you write some blog posts, blog articles, uh, your pictures, if you use Photoshop, I, you passed hours, uh, creating stunning pictures um, or videos if you do some video footages. So let's see why and how to protect your content. You're gonna tell me, Michael, that's obvious. Why? Nobody wants to get his, his content to be stolen or reused by, by a fraud. Let's call them fraud. They just copy paste your content, they appropriate your job and they just publish it. Now, so Behind the scene, you got external factors. Despite of your pride, you might lose money. Why? Because obviously, this, most of these people get better understanding of SEO, uh, ranking, referencing, and you might end up seeing your content ranking higher than on your website on the end of these frauds. So you, obviously, you will lose traffic, visibility, as I was mentioning. And you will lose sales if your website sells some products, services. You're gonna lose these sales. On top of that, if your website or some ads, by example, uh, like Google AdSense, you're gonna lose these incomes of ads. And you might end up as well losing commissions if your website as well runs some affiliation program. So as you can see, is much more than your pride so you really need to protect it so now i'm going to show you how to protect your content in a really easy way on a wordpress platform with one plugin it takes less than a minute i'm sorry i do speak a lot but i just wanted to make a point and i'm going to show you and to prove you with a wordpress platform how to do that let's have a look well let's have a look a proper look about this Plugin. So this plugin is called WordPress Content Copy Protection and no right click. That's what we want. Uh, so first of all, we're going to download this plugin right here. Don't worry too much. I'm going to put under the description the link of this plugin. You don't have to look for it. It's going to be pretty straightforward. After you're going to go to your dashboard. So on your dashboard, as usual, you're going to go to plugin, add new, and we're going to install uh, this plugin on your website so let's close that window so what we're gonna look for is the compress file the zip file that we just downloaded it's right here so you open it and you install your plugin i would love to set this point we are nearly done this plugin is really easy to use it's amazed me you just install it and that's it you're going to tell me, Michael, and what about the settings, the parameters? Yeah, we're going to see that. You got only three, three uh, parameters. So now you're going to activate it. So in my case, this is a wrong example because I'm running a WordPress multi-site for some demo purposes. Don't worry too much about that. It's going to be straight for you. The plugin is going to be activated. Yeah, right here, your plugin is activated. So I was mentioning about the settings. Let's have a look. Uh, about the three settings available on the free version. Don't ask me about the pro version. Uh, I didn't even bother to look at it. Uh, oh, right here, you see this icon, protection. That's it, your website is protected. So if you want to see this uh, settings, you go to settings uh, and here you, you're gonna see your plugin, WordPress content a copy protection. So let's have a look. And you will see you will have three options you can protect your home page you can protect your blog post you see the right here main settings uh, so this one is premium premium uh, pro version uh, as i was mentioning if you want to protect your content go for the wall content protect the wall website so uh, uh, post protection uh, home page and the static page so the static page for those who don't know about, uh, this is the equivalent of your home page on WordPress platform. You need to choose. You need to. You need to choose one theme. 
you cannot run your website without theme even if you use some plugins such as Elementor or whatever. If you want to build your website from scratch, uh, to design it, to personalize it from E to Z, you will need to, to choose one theme, a default theme. So, and on that page, uh, you will, uh, they will ask you uh, to put your static page as a home page on this theme. So, don't worry too much about uh, this is mainly uh, protecting your home page or uh, your blog post or the whole website. And right here you got uh, the, the message which is going to be displayed if someone is, trying, is intending to do some right click on to steal your content on your website. So that's it. So let's, let's see uh, exactly what's going on. So I just closed my website. I, um, here you can save the setting if you change some of the, the settings right here. Me, I didn't change anything. I don't really see the purpose of just leave it like that. Uh, your whole website is protected. So let's have a look. Uh, how is it going? So by example, uh, right here if i want to highlight some text and do a right click if i do a right click nothing happens if i do if i go crazy i say what's wrong and right here you see this window you got a message content content is protected you can personalize this content as well i was mentioning earlier about the pictures for example let's say it's a it's a basic picture but imagine you work really are doing a photoshop pictures same thing content protected Let's take a look on the blog. Let's see the blog post. If this plugin really uh, protected the whole website or just the, the home page. Let's open any of the blog posts. The first one coming up. So here you got a blog post. So you see, you got some text. So if I try to highlight, uh, nothing happens. Right click up, uh, right here. You got your message. Uh, let's see if you want, by example, a picture. Same thing. That's it. Your whole website is protected. Really easy, really effective, and really cheap. That's for free. This plugin is for free, guys. You have no excuse. Protect your content, guys. Um, yeah. Well, I hope that you enjoy this uh, this video. That you learn something uh, about protecting content today. Uh, just put a like if you like this video, if you want to know some more, if you want to follow me on my channel to, to get more tips, uh, good practices on how to develop your website in a professional way, don't hesitate, subscribe, hit the button below. Well, I say you goodbye guys and see you on the next episode.